This video is brought to you by Lists of Note, compiled by Sean Usher. This is a beautiful and very visual collection of lists that diverse and eclectic and interesting human beings have been making from ancient history up to present day. It includes everything from Isaac Newton's list of the 57 sins he had already committed by the time he turned 19, to Marilyn Monroe's New Year's resolution list she made when she was 29. You can see JFK's secretary's list of murder suspects she made just hours after the president was shot, to a list of reasons ancient Egyptians gave for missing work. This book is an excellent gift for anyone who loves history or anyone who loves making lists, which I think is most of us. So check out Lists of Note, compiled by Sean Usher, available wherever books are sold. Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I'm one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. So the final part of the summer reading series is here and today I'm going to be talking about reading classics over the summer. This may seem slightly counterintuitive to what most people consider to be summertime reading. A lot of times people assume that you want things that are light and fun and plot driven, but for me I actually really like picking up classics in the summer. This habit formed when I was in college. I wasn't an English major so I'd never really read a lot of like the western canon classics so one year I decided that during my summer break I would read a really intimidating or really massive classic that I had never read before because during the school year I didn't really have the time or the energy or the brain power to be reading that type of literature because I had so much other things on my plate so I figured that the summertime was the perfect time to tackle one and that year the classic that I ended up tackling was The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. This book is massive and it seems pretty intimidating to want to read this. It took me like a month to read it too, but this is actually one of those books that's really plot driven and has a lot going on that compels you to keep reading and the language isn't too complicated or anything like that like a lot of people assume classics can be like so I felt like this was kind of like the perfect summer book because it's kind of like a thriller. This year the classic that I'll be tackling is Moby Dick. This is one of those classics that I've always been slightly intimidated by but I decided that this summer I would try to tackle it. I'm going to give myself a full month to read it and just take my time with it and really enjoy it. Another year a classic that I decided to tackle was Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. I read Pride and Prejudice when I was in high school and I really enjoyed it and so I always wanted to read another one of her works and since Sense and Sensibility was kind of like her next best known novels because of all the adaptations and movies, I ended up picking this one up one summer and again with all of these classics I just took my time with it and didn't really force myself to rush through it a lot of times, I feel like especially on the book internet, we feel that pressure to really finish books quickly or to finish a lot of books over the summer but with these classics I always just take my time and sort of go at my own pace and don't feel rushed to get through them especially if I'm trying to really understand the classic and really get a good sense of the book itself. Now if you're someone who's really intimidated by classics or you just want to dip your toes into this idea but don't necessarily want to read a big hunky massive book. You could always go the modern classic route. One recommendation that I always give people is A Tree Grows in Brooklyn by Betty Smith. This is probably my favorite modern classic if I had to pick just one. This book covers a lot of topics including class and poverty but also family life and just growing up as a young girl. There's so much heart to this book and it's honestly just one of my favorite books of all time so I'm always recommending this to people. Another book or author that you could try to pick up is Toni Morrison. Her books are relatively short which make this good for books to take with you on the go but there's a lot of plot happening in these books and her books are very dense which make them good if you want to tackle something that's a little bit more difficult. I just finished Sula relatively recently and of course I absolutely loved it but I've basically now made it a tradition that I'm going to be reading one Toni Morrison book every summer mostly because my heart can't handle more than one Toni Morrison in a year because they're just so uh, gripping. So yeah this year was Sula and of course I loved it. So those are my recommendations for you guys if you want something a little bit more offbeat for your summer reading. Feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know if you guys do anything similar during the summertime. Do you look for stuff that's a little bit more difficult or challenging or go for the classics during the summer anything like that. So yeah that's all I have for this week and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.